Hello everyone. My name is Venkat Kurela. I am a cloud neutral trainer and consultant specialized in delivering corporate trainings. I have delivered hundreds of trainings globally to different levels of students as a freelancer and as a official trainer. Also helping organizations in designing, implementing and moving workloads onto different cloud platforms like Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. Guys, a big change is happening around us and change is the cloud and AWS is the cloud leader. They currently offer 115 services like EC2, uh, EBS, VPC, uh, S3. You see them in here, the container services, Dockers and containers, microservices like Lambda, uh, platform as a services like uh, Elastic Beanstack, the advanced services like machine learning, artificial intelligence and virtual reality, application integration services, maybe um, uh, isolated networking environment features like VPC, uh, DNS uh, resolution, I mean DNS name resolution services like Route 53. So pretty much you've got 115 services uh, you know, that are delivered in Amazon today. Uh, they are from different categories, like there are approximately 22 different categories, uh, compute, storage, databases, you see migrations and data transfer, uh, you see analytics as a category, developer tools as a category, internet of things as a category. So there are 22 different categories from which Amazon um, is delivering the services today and the list is still increasing every month these services are being used by thousands and lakhs of customers globally resulting in which Amazon is actually uh, the market leaders you could see that the customers you have got them into big data area uh, data center migrations enterprise services and you know you could read hundreds and thousands of case studies probably can take you to the other place you see the URL says all customer case studies there are hundreds and thousands of um, you know customer case studies uh, who have tried Amazon web services and they are they are successful you see right hand side the scroll button how small it is and AWS is currently offering nine different certifications then the solution architect professional DevOps engineer advanced networking big data security so pretty much there are nine certifications in four different levels uh, foundational is the entry level and for technical people associate is the entry level uh, for managers or non function non technical people uh, foundation is an entry and for technical people associate is an entry level certification uh, professional is the advanced one or the next level certifications and of course the speciality for example if you are a, a or a network administrator on premises well you can retain your skills even in the cloud by getting your advanced networking certifications done if you are a database administrator on premises you still can retain your skills uh, by getting your big data certification done uh, the security right especially for for females uh, security related certifications are the most demanding and and you could be uh, the daytime shifts Right? As more workloads move to the cloud, there will be more demand for the security profiles. You may ask yourself, like, why should I take the AWS try? Obviously, the answer is cloud is the future and AWS is leading the cloud business, the cloud market. You could see that Amazon is growing in terms of the annual revenue growth. They are the leaders and in terms of the market share also, they are, they are leading the market. If I have to put them in numbers, especially Amazon you see their revenue in 2017 is uh, 12,221 million dollars whereas Microsoft is just 3,130 million dollars and Alibaba is about 1,091 and Google is about 7,000 sorry uh, 780 uh, 80 uh, million dollars if you see uh, the market rate Amazon is holding 51% of the market rate while Microsoft, uh, Alibaba, Google, you know, put all others together still not matching the Amazon's market rate, the, the share levels, 
right so this information is actually collected in in august 2018 by gartner it is not something a table that i'm putting myself so a simple answer to to a question why should i take aws training and certification is because overall just 10 percent of the workloads have been moved to the cloud and for the year 2019 and 2020 a big move has to come i i knew and of course everybody in the industry knows that um, many organizations almost all organizations have plans for the year 2019 and 2020 to move uh, more and more applications to the cloud when that happens you know uh, there will be more demand for the cloud certified engineers the average pay for the cloud engineer uh, you could see right per year how much it is and if it is in india five to seven lakh rupees that is for an associate level engineer i'm talking about okay so uh, i mean this is also again a table not put by me but definitely by indeed uh, by pay scale uh, the market recognized uh, companies you see for a for a cloud support engineer how much it is ninety thousand usd a year that is for a cloud engineer just an associate level engineer Okay, maybe you could see that in the US, uh, the numbers are definitely bigger, you see, one lakh eighteen thousand dollars a year. You could see that in, in pay scale also here, like how much uh, is the cost for the solution architect, for a software engineer, especially for the cloud engineer, it is about what. Maybe the other question that you could ask yourself is, uh, who can take this training, right? Well, obviously, everyone, you are a fresher, most welcome, you can come and join the cloud training. System administrators, welcome. Uh, network administrators, storage administrators, backup, virtualization, middleware, SharePoint, Exchange, non-IT people, wonderful. You guys are welcome to join the cloud uh, AWS learning program. Uh, as long as you are interested, well, you are most welcome to join the cloud. You are most welcome to join the AWS administration courses. You can ask me a question because, uh, Venkat, you are saying everybody can join the cloud, right? Can you help me understand how, because I'm coming from, I'm a, I'm a fresher, let's say, how can I uh, join AWS, how can I complete the course successfully and how can I get a job? Or let's say a non-IT people is coming and, and trying to join the course, uh, what do you think uh, will be a value add from your side or what do you think will be a success plan for us, right? Well, we have a very matured and successful plan for you people. We're going to start from the basics not from the cloud computing not from aws not from azure but we're going to start from the basics basics you need to know to get start with the cloud computing that is the server hardware networking fundamentals storage fundamentals operating system that is linux or windows fundamentals virtualization fundamentals and the cloud concepts cloud as a technology the fundamentals of it this is where we're going to start we're going to teach you all these fundamentals then we're going to complete the technical details of a service. Uh, for example, if you see this module, where we're going to start talking about what is VPC. For example, if, if we talk about VPC, one of our uh, networking option in AWS. AWS VPC is a virtual private cloud, which is a, a virtual networking option in Amazon cloud, similar to your routers on-premises. So working with the VPC is similar to working with the routers, designing, implementing, and uh, working on a physical router is similar to work designing implementing and working on the virtual private cloud in AWS for that you need to understand the concepts similar to uh, the subnets security groups that is firewall engines the route tables uh, VPC endpoints to enable the communication between uh, two different AWS uh, uh, services uh, DHCP to dynamically distribute the IP addresses DNS and NAT instances that is to uh, resolve the names on on vnet that is within aws data centers and to resolve the names on the internet and we have part two in networking where we're going to cover the network gateways that is to connect your vpc to the external internet and vpc pairing that's where you connect two vpcs to each other uh, vpn connections where you connect your vpc to on-premises data centers uh, over, a, over a private connection i mean over a secured connection with vpn then you see that VPC is a compliant with PCI DSS and VPC limits, the pricing options. Then finally, we're going to talk about uh, different ways of creating a VPC uh, in AWS Cloud so that you get hands-on experience on to uh, how actually you're going to uh, work with VPC. So that covers the complete technical details of a service. 
then we're gonna get into the labs of it where uh, we're gonna we're gonna start exploring the VPC management console and then we we check the default VPC configuration details whether it is the IP space the number of subnets how the routing table is configured how the firewalls are configured how the external internet is connected uh, you know pretty much the complete details of the default VPC and then we start creating our own VPC in AWS by checking the uh, once the wizard VPC is created then we'll check the internet connectivity of the servers process of that we have to troubleshoot the security groups we have to troubleshoot network access control list internet gateways the route tables um, right and then later we will explore the other way of creating a VPC that is custom method right where we're gonna check the connectivity again to the internet part of that we have to troubleshoot couple of components again same as the above wizard like security group network access controllers uh, IGW the internet gateways the route tables etc and we you realize part of the troubleshooting you realize there are few components missing like the internet gateway so you have to create it then we'll be configuring the route tables of course to to configure the custom routes to, to route the traffic to on-premises to route the traffic to the internet to route the traffic to the direct connect uh, components right and then you'll also be creating a private subnet uh, to secure your workloads like databases uh, then you'll also be using the NAT gateways to mask the original identities of the servers and to not to expose your original identities to the internet we're gonna create the route tables uh, that's where you get more control over the routes and then and you can you can certainly control on how the packet should be routed if you have got advanced uh, firewall filtering software such as from Cisco or from any other networking vendor you you get that control by customizing the route tables later we connect two VPCs to each other it's called the VPC pairing so earlier pairing can only be done between the VPCs in a same region uh, but now it is extended like you could have VPCs uh, in the same region and a same account VPCs could be in two different regions in two different accounts doesn't matter you could achieve that VPN connectivity and finally you can create a VPN um, connectivity to the on-premises uh, environments right so that's where you get labs with the real-time scenarios and then maybe to give you some some realistic information uh, that helps you clear your certifications is by talking about couple of design patterns right so this is more of a uh, interview targeting module uh, where uh, different design patterns that are available for VPC for example you see internet accessible VPC public and privately routed VPCs uh, on-premises and the internet accessible VPCs and internal only VPCs based on a given application you will also be doing the sizing of your VPC like how big the VNet could be or your VPC could be how big your subnets can be or how many subnets there can be so like you'll be working on many components and many factors of your VPC designing that gives you the complete picture of your networking uh, this is exactly how we're gonna discuss about every single service because you've got the basics of the servers networking storage monitoring access control databases pretty much every service that we're gonna discuss and we're gonna get the complete technical details of the services like EC2 EBS EFS S3 RAW53 uh, ELB auto scaling lambda cloud formation EB elastic bean stack pretty much like there are 50 services that we're gonna cover in our classes then the labs with real-time scenarios like how I've shown you the VPC right there will be the real-time labs including the design patterns including the real-time scenarios and finally we're gonna cover the certification questions and interview questions right later uh, this is what the learning path at Corella Cognoso private limited where I'm going to teach you the basics then the AWS fundamentals then we'll be teaching you AWS certified solution architect and system operations administrator put together gonna be a 52 hours of training program of which 40 hours instructor led training and 12 hours or the recorded video at the end of the training you should be able to design implement monitor support migrate and troubleshoot infrastructure on AWS for any kind of application deployments and you should also be able to complete two certifications that is a certified solution architect and system operations administrator from Amazon and you should also be able to clear the interviews successfully 
I hope you will join this journey of learning AWS Certified Specialist because I'm going to cover uh, four different modules, basics, uh, certified solution architect, sysops admin, interview questions, real-time scenario. So it, that's the reason I wanted to call this as Certified Speciality Training Program. I hope you will join me in this journey of learning AWS Certified uh, Specialist Program here at Corella Cognis of Private Limited. You still have questions? Feel free to call us or email us or WhatsApp us on the given numbers. Thank you.